boy Dino aka DRP here and welcome back to another video to my channel and today yes guys I'm gonna go ahead and awaken this man right here this man this bad boy right here Gara um, I'm excited so damn excited to awaken him why cause he's pretty much the fastest PvP player uh, I've seen so far uh, at least when it comes to the ultimate bash banners you know of Naruto, Sasuke, Broccoli and Gara he's the fastest Gara surely the fastest out there um, I'm excited to use this man so I'm not gonna waste any more time talking about him let's just get right to him uh, so first of all I'm gonna awaken him to a 5 star to a 6 star so he's already maxed out as a 5 star I believe so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna awaken him into a normal 6 star um, so yeah let's just go ahead and do that uh, right let's go so after I do that I can then go ahead and just um, level him up first and then we'll check him out and what I'll do is I'll test him out on not on PvP I'll test him out on PvP in a separate video uh, what I'll do is I'll test him out in a normal mission to see how much damage he's capable of doing uh, and I'll be doing that with the ascend with the blazing awakening as well after doing the blazing awakening I'll test him out like that as well so yeah um, Wow, this guy looks awesome. Uh, reduce wisdom damage taken by 20%, bravery damage by 20%, damage taken by 5%, damage taken by, by 5%. Charcoal recovers with map movement. He is very good. He is actually very good, guys. Uh, oh crap, okay, that's not what I wanted. Um, okay, let's check him out again. Um, okay, so, stats look pretty decent. Um, Okay, let's check out his um, friend skill and buddy skill. Reduces damage by 20 to 25%. Field school. Amazing skill right there. Buddy skill reduces damage by 25%. Damn, this guy is really good. You won't be receiving much damage with him as a friend as well. So that's really good. Uh, ninjutsu. Uh, oh, this is this looks pretty interesting. So as you can see, um, Sand Coffin, 8.5 times attack towards one enemy in range and 70% chance of immobilization for two turns and that's only for five charcoals needed, only five charcoals is needed for that. Immobilization for a 70% chance, 70% chance of immobilization, that is amazing. If you guys ask me, that is absolutely amazing for two turns. So I love that, I love that about Gara. Uh, wind Style Air Bullet, that's 10 charcoals needed. Ignore substitution for all enemies in range with 16 times attack towards them and knocks them back. That's probably a very, that's a high multiplier guy, 16 times attacks towards all enemies in range as well. Amazing, so he looks pretty solid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and level him up and then we'll take him to an emergency mission and see how well this man can perform. Um, okay, let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Dun, 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 Okay. So I'm gonna... 97, alright. Pretty close, close by. Uh, let's get to my 100 though. Let's get him to 100 and I'll see his stats. Um... Uh, this should... Hopefully this gets him to 100. If it doesn't, then I'll just use the blue one. Uh, 98, okay, I'll just use the blue one instead uh, as well. So I, I can gather, I can gather more of them later on. Uh, maxed out, okay. I want to see his stats though. So his new stats are now... Wow! His health is shooting. His health has shot up. 1,554. Clearly his health is the superior stats there. Strength, okay, he doesn't have much strength. But I think it makes up for the ninjutsu and ultimate technique. Uh, wow, speed. <laughs> Yo, 302. His speed is 302 already, guys. Without any speed pills. Without any speed pills, his speed is 302. That is absolutely crazy, guys. Absolutely crazy. So, yo, this guy is solid, okay? Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be cheeky right now. And... Um, Okay, I'll do that after the emergency mission stuff. So, well, let's get to the emergency mission. Team cost exceeded. Damn. Oh, God. Okay, so let's check out the speed car. Okay, let's take out Naruto. Naruto isn't really needed. Alright, Naruto really isn't needed. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, 68. Yeah, that's perfect. 
Uh, let's go ahead and check him out in emergency mission right now. Uh, bu -bu -bu oh, this is perfect. This is perfect, guys. I can go ahead and gather some... Uh, some ramen. Uh, some wisdom ramen. Uh, who can I choose for one then? Yeah, I, I'll go with um, Sage of Six Pops Naruto as well. 50 stamina. Let's go, guys. Let's go. I love to know what this guy is made of. He's gonna do a lot of damage with his ninjutsu. Well, 16 times multiplier. That's a huge multiplier, guys. Not many people have that kind of huge multiplier. You know, the people that I know has huge multipliers are obviously Obito Uchiha, 28 times attack. Um, then there's Mother Uchiha, which is 18 times attack. Mother Uchiha, uh, Jiraiya has that. Uh, I don't know if Hashinama, Sagemon Hashinama has that, or it might be something around that. Uh, Susano, Susano Sasuke has 20 times attack, so, you know, and this Naruto has 16 times attack as well, I believe. Yeah, 16 times attack, so it's the same as uh, Gara's, but hey, uh, let's check him out though. How much is he doing? Okay, he's doing around 1,700, which is pretty decent, but, you know, it makes sense because he doesn't have the highest attacking stats. Uh, Naruto, on the other hand, I think, yeah, Naruto's one goes, yeah. His, his one's nearly 2,000. Uh, did I do my one? Yeah, my one's 2,088. So I increased my using attack pulls. So, makes sense. Um, I'll probably try to increase um, Gala's health. Um, I'll see, I'll see how it goes. But damn, his reach. I forgot his, I forgot about Gala's reach. Uh, vast range uh, attacker, which means it's the highest range. Uh, only Minato. And um, the Obito has it. When I say Obito, it's not the uh, Sage of Six Paths Obito, it's the um, masked, um, you know, Obito with the broken mask during the third Great Ninja War, where, where he has his ultimate jutsu as the Ten Tails attack. That's the one. Yeah, he has fast range as well. Who else has fast range? I think Kwama Mode Minato has it. I'm not exactly sure though. I don't have him, so I'm not exactly sure about that. But. Hey, he can't really complain about a vast range attacker, like, yeah, he may not be there with the others when it comes to strength, but range, he has it, he certainly has it. Not to mention this bravery team just heals like crazy, thanks to uh, Sage of Six Pass Naruto's um, uh, abilities. Like, I think I have his abilities, like, unlocked. Like, yeah, I've got, yeah, I've unlocked uh, the first three abilities of his. Uh, so I'll be healing like crazy. I'm healing like crazy with this team. So yeah. Um, okay. Okay, let's. Uh, ooh, I want to see what's um, Tsunade's ultimate technique. I wonder. Okay, that was not bad. That was not bad. I guess. Eh, that's not bad. Uh, so I'll be healing like crazy with uh, Tsunade and Naruto as well. Because Tsunade heals a lot, guys, if you haven't realized. I love this guard already. Yo, this guard is OP. <laughs> this guard is actually OP. Okay. So, guard I should be able to, yep. Yeah. Okay, let's see his range of attack. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, it fits everyone. Oh, my Ramon. Oh, he goes into Shukaku mode. God damn! 27,000! Okay, that's pretty decent, I must say. 27,000? I will take it! 27,000! I will take it! Well, Naruto hits a lot harder, of course. Guys, I will take that! 27,000! 27,000 for Gada, I will take that! That was a really good um, um, AoE attack, uh, ultimate technique. AoE attacks are always awesome for ultimate techniques. So I will take that. This guy is actually very good indeed. So, um, hey, that's very cool, I must say. 
So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to be very cheeky right here and use the rest of my use the rest of my points here on speed boosts. Why? Because I'm just going to increase Gardar's speed here. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be cheeky and I'm going to increase Gardar's speed here. Yeah, you guys will probably be thinking you could use it on someone else because Gardar is already fast, but I want him to be the fastest. Uh, so 302 is his uh, speed right now. Uh, 302. Oh, I've only got one speed pull. Well, that's that's a bit awkward. <laughs> okay, let me just um do that. Uh, by the way, guys, if you guys have God or Lee, how do you find God and Lee? And who do you think is better? Uh, I haven't used Lee, of course. I don't have him, so I'm I, I'm not sure who who would be better. So, what do you guys think? Who do you think is better, God or Lee? So 302, now it's gone to 305, okay, fair enough, fair enough, uh, I'll probably get some more speed pulls after doing PvP, uh, just to get this guy to max speed, max speed, I want this man at max speed, um, I don't know, what's the maximum speed that one person could get, I'm not sure, uh, do tell me that in the comment section below as well, that would help me out a lot, uh, now time to blazing awakening this bad boy, uh, let's go. Let's go. Uh, so it seems like his um, ability changes as well. So I gotta check that out and see what happens when his ability changes. Oh, how does he look? Ho ho ho! That looks pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Blazing Awakening. Ugh. All right, let's check this bad boy out. So uh, his abilities has changed. Immobilization resistance, lower rates of a gain immobilized by 25%. Wow, he's good. Reduce wisdom damage by 20%. Wisdom another 20 Wow, he is insane. I'm I wish I could get more of this guard up, but god damn, I'll probably have to wait for the next ultimate bash. Uh reduces damage by 15 to 20%, reduces damage by 20%, that's fine. Oh wow, his speed is gone from 300 and 305 to 352. Wow. <laughs> that's pretty damn that's pretty dope. That is pretty dope, I must say. Um, That's pretty dope. <laughs> wow, he's good. He is really good. So, okay, so as you can see, his. Uh, oh, come on. I'm trying to see his ultimate. Um, so, his ninjutsu sound burial 8.5 times attack towards one enemy in range and 60% chance of immobilization for two turns. So, his immobilization rates has gone down. Okay, fair enough for two turns. A uh, wind style air bullet, 16 times attack towards all enemies in range and knocks them back. 80% chance of jutsu ceiling for three turns. So his ultimate jutsu uh, multiplier is still there. So that's okay. But in the Ninja World Clash, it certainly does change. So Sandbow, instead of eight times attack, it's now 10 times attack. That's a huge multiplier for our ninjutsu. 10 times attack towards one enemy in range with 60% chance of switch ceiling for them for seven turns. Okay. Switch ceiling is good. Switch ceiling is very good, I must say. Uh, for 7 turns. Okay, fair enough. Wind style air bullet. 10 shotguns needed. The same 16 times attack towards all of the enemies in range and knocks them back. With an 80% chance of juicy ceiling for 3 turns. He's good. This man's good. This man's certainly good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test him out once again. To see how he differs. Um, so... so whether obviously to see how how the difference is between the blazing awakening and the normal six star awakening uh so i'm going to choose six stage of six plus Naruto once again for the healing factor the sunade gives you healing as well uh, she i think she gives like 200 health every turn and then you know my stage of six plus gives 600 every turn uh i don't know about the friend one though i'm not sure about the friend i might have to check that out uh, so, yeah, he also gives 600, okay, fair enough. Uh, this guard right here, so, oh, okay. Okay, so I've just realized that his strength has considerably fallen. His strength has fallen a huge amount, guys. So, I don't think he's going to be attacking that well, so his strength is going to be really bad. Yeah, he's not the best when it comes to strength. Um, but he still has the vast range, um attacking thing the feature they still vast range attacker so that's always good but not the not the highest attack I 
anything is below a thousand so I don't know if that's the lowest that I've seen in a six star I think that might be the lowest that strength stats I've seen in a six star I think that's the first time I might be wrong guys if I'm wrong please do correct me on which character it is um, but right yeah even if Gala isn't hitting that hard you know, it's ages six past Naruto. Both of them should be doing the trick here because they are the because he's probably the highest mid-range attacker. Sage six past, I'm pretty sure, is the highest mid-range attacker when it comes to their strength stats for a mid-range attacker. He's certainly damn high. Um, okay. God damn, yeah, that vast range that comes in so useful. Okay, I'm gonna be cheeky and use Tsunade here. Ah, oh, damn, it just doesn't connect though. Uh, never mind though, never mind. Never mind. Her range isn't that big with his ultimate te with her ultimate technique. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, let's do this then. Yep, do that. Nice, alright. Uh, in fact, let me do something here, guys. Alright, let me do something here. You guys are probably thinking, what the hell am I doing? Uh, I hope he doesn't die by that. Okay, he doesn't. Damn, that crit, though. That crit. Okay, so... Okay, so I should be able to hit both of them now. Okay. Let's see how much damage he can do now. Let's see how much damage this guy's capable of. Twenty-two thousand. So it's certainly lower than his normal awakening. He did about twenty-seven thousand, I think, and this guy does twenty-two thousand when he's blazing awakened. But then, yeah, you guys are probably thinking he's not hitting as hard as he did before. But the reason for that is because this character is specially made for PvP. As you can see, his his stats, his abilities, his stats. And his jutsus are changed when he goes into the ninja world clash which is why many people put them on blazing awakening because he performs a lot better uh once he's blazing awakened because he's that's when he's suited for pvp if you keep him as a normal six star then he's not going to perform that well on pvp but if you keep him in this form the blazing awakened where all six stars are gone from gold to pink i think pink color yeah i think that is it uh he'd be performing much better on pvp pvp because that's when his things all change in, to suit PvP. So, overall I must say, a very good card, because uh, he's got he's, he's a vast range attacker, probably the best range in the game. Um, very good field and body skill, helps you out a lot. It did help me out a lot in this mission, because I felt like I didn't receive as much damage, and obviously Naruto's Sage of Six Paths uh, ability to heal every 600 turns basically heal 1200 health every turn no 1400 because of uh, Sonade's uh, friend ability to recover 200 health so 1400 health every turn I'm basically receiving damage and then receiving all of the health back so it doesn't really matter if I receive damage so and then there's the ninjutsu uh, which definitely changes a lot uh, which is really good he is really good uh, switch ceiling is always very good in uh, PvP, uh, just in case they have someone at the back who's very OP. You know, people tend to have a fast player in front, and then at the back they'll have someone like Killer B or uh, the Sage of Six Pops Obito. And when that happens, uh, um, yeah. They kind of keep Obito at the back so that when he gets his chocolate, they switch out and then use it. So if he switch seal them, they won't be able to seal to uh, Obito. So that that's very good. And not to mention this guy's speed is incredible. This guy's speed is out of this world. I will be doing more and more PvP 
uh, from now on so that I can get some speed pills and increase this guy's uh, speed for sure. Um, Alright, so on that note, I'll end the video right here, guys. So, thank you guys so much for me. Uh, thank you guys so much on watching my video, on showcasing this man. Uh, God, I, this man's absolutely OP. Uh, probably one of the fastest characters in PvP, if not the fastest. Uh, I don't know if he's the fastest, but he's definitely one of the fastest then. Definitely. I don't know, he might be faster than Haku, I'm not sure. He might be faster than Haku, I'm not exactly sure, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did enjoy today's video, then smash that like button, comment and share all those good things here to see more content of me doing more Naruto Ultimate Ninja Blazing videos. However, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button so you won't miss a single video from my channel, guys. Whether it's gaming videos, whether it's reaction videos, or whether it's live streams. So as always, guys, this is your boy Dino signing out. And have a nice day, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video.